Hello everyone. I'm so excited uh, that today we managed to meet again and have uh, our short devotion today. Our devotion today, we are going to discuss uh, from the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. I shall read um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. It says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far weighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. You know, I'm very pleased and I'm very excited um, to read the book uh, of Second Corinthians. This is one of uh, uh, the letters that Apostle Paul wrote to the churches and also we as Christians being uh, fortunate enough to have the Bible, we, we read also uh, some of his letters that also apply into our life, that also helps you and me to grow uh, spiritually. So here's the issue. Paul is talking to the Corinthian church. Paul is talking to the Christians who are in Corinth. That even though we are losing heart, even though we have troubles in ourselves, even though inwards we are not in a good situation, even we are facing troubles, even though there are a lot of things that are happening in our life, even though uh, there is a lot of hatred and all this stuff that is happening in ourselves. Even though we might be in bad situation, even though we are facing um, a bad, uh, bad uh, situations in our life, Paul is saying we should fix our eyes on what is not seen, not in what is seen. What is trying to say here, Paul is talking about the eternity, is talking about what we believe. Most of us as Christians will believe that um, after all this life that we are living here, we are going to have eternal life where we are going to live a well and good flourishing life and where we are going also to have an opportunity to sit next to our Lord Jesus Christ. So Paul is saying we have to, to open our eyes and see beyond physical and see beyond what is seen with our fleshly eyes, with our, uh, our, our eyes that we use to see physical things. So he's saying, seeing temporal things, these, all these things that we are seeing, money, the riots and all these things that is happening, all these things, they are going to end. Although Jesus Christ prophesied about that, although there are a lot of prophets who have prophesied about the end time, who have prophesied about all these tribulations and troubles that we are facing. But it's, he's saying we should not fix our eyes in all that. Our eyes should be focused on what we have hoped for, of what we trust in, of what we have faith in. As uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 talks about faith, being sure of what is unseen, being sure of what we have not heard, being sure of what we have not uh, or yet yet in our hands, having hope of something that is about to come, having hope of something that is going to be for eternity. So here Paul is also saying, 
we have to fix our eyes on dealing with our faith in dealing with what we believe on in dealing in what we have accepted as Christians. Most of us, we have accepted Jesus Christ, but sometimes our focus, sometimes we are, we are hindered, sometimes we look into something that is temporary. We fix our eyes and we focus on something that is not um, helpful in, in our spiritual life. So he's saying everything that we might be see with our physical eyes is not eternal. It's not permanent. All these things that we are facing, all these things that we are crying about, the pandemic and wars and things that we are facing as a nation, as a globe, all these things, they are going to end. And Jesus Christ is promising us an eternal life. And as we read uh, from the book of um, Seven Kings, we see Elijah praying for his seven girls. And he's saying, Lord, may you please open his eyes so that he can see what is unseen. He can see what our eyes, our physical eyes cannot see. So that he can fix his eyes on the things that are permanent, on the things that are more important than what we see. So my encouragement today is, brothers and sisters, we have to fix our eyes on the things that are not seen, on the things that are beyond physical, on the things that sometimes we might not touch them, on the things that leads us to eternity, for you and me to be blessed, for you and me to have eternal life. Paul is telling us that what is not seen is eternal life. That's what we have to keep on holding. That's where we have to fix our eyes on. If you read Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, it also talks about fixing our eyes on Jesus Christ. We should not be moved by what is temporary. We should not be moved by what we are seeing right now. Because there is better things that eternity is holding for us. Thank you very much. Stay blessed and Keep on focusing on Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm.